friends welcome to my channel creative art my name is nanma and today we are going to do stained glass stained glass is simply plain glass on which we have done color and this is how they look when we have colored them and you can simply use it as a candle holder as we have made this beautiful candle holders in the previous video you can find all the link in the description below and after painting this glass jars you can use them as flower vase you can use them as candle holders or you can make a different type of designs which i'm going to show you in the next videos you can also get these kind of stained glass which are already available in the market these are the bottles we'll be also decorating these bottles in the upcoming videos in this particular video i have shown you how you can convert plain simple traditional glass into a beautiful colored vase and you can use it in different ways okay all the materials required to make this diy are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video here friends first of all i'm going to show you the different kind of glass and glass materials which are available in the market and which are already colored this is a brown color glass it's a blue color glass a green and blue again these these are bottles which are already available in market and this one is an example of stained glass which we have done this was a very simple like white bottle jar you can say and it has been colored from outside as a yellow i think maybe using a solvent based colors this is what i bought from market and in this video i'm going to teach you how you can do your own stained glass and decorate it in different ways as you want and for that we are going to use solvent based colors there are different kind of solvent based colors available in market but i use camlin solvent base there is a brown purple orange hina green sunflower yellow horizon blue ruby red antique white any of the color you can use for your glass paintings okay so let's start okay so now we are going to start this project first of all using clean mate or collins please do clean your uh, glass materials whichever you want to color okay and i'm going to use a blue color for this jar purple royal purple color for this jar ruby red for this one and for this bottle we are going to make a combination of sunflower yellow and ruby red and we'll be shading it okay so one by one we'll start first of all i'm going to color my first jar using a blue color to paint this kind of glass there are two types either you can pour the color inside the bottle and just turn it around and color the whole part from inside i'll show you how you can do that there are two ways to color your jar and this is the first way that we are coloring it from inside pour a lot of color okay and after that just turn this color so simply rotate it and the bottle will get colored itself Okay, so here you can see that our bottle is very well painted now from inside. When you see that your whole jar is colored and there is some color remaining, so let it get dry in this way and after 5 to 10 minutes just close the jar and turn it, just circularly move it and after that let the color fall down. And in the same way, again, you have to turn the jar after every 5 to 10 minutes so that the remaining color is put up on the whole jar. Okay, now we are going to color our second jar in a different way. And for that, I'm going to use purple. Check your color very well before coloring. Start it from a side. I generally don't use a brush. I think using a brush could be helpful to give it an even stained color.
So this is how it looks when the whole glass is completed and just turn it outside and also color some more spot. And I think this will require a second coating. So we'll also give it a second coating. I'll do the next glass in the same way. Till that I'll show you the bottle. We are going to do it. So in the same way we are going to color this bottle and we're also going to shade it using ruby red and sunflower yellow. First of all we'll shake our color very well and we'll just pour this red color through this a lot of red and once we have poured this red color we'll just rotate our bottle. So we'll keep only this much part as a red and now we'll certainly pour our yellow color a very little quantity and just keep rotating our bottle. Now again I'm willing to pour some more yellow and I'll start rotating from where I have poured it. And slowly the color will move downwards as I rotate the bottle. We'll let this half part get dried first and after that the remaining colors will combine it in between and again move the bottle in circular way. And slowly by rotating when the yellow color finally touches the red color and both the colors get combined. So you'll obtain an orange color and blue, right in the bottom or and yellow at the top, okay? So you have to just keep rotating, you cannot keep this bottle still anywhere because if you keep that, all the colors will come in one direction until and unless this bottle gets dried up completely, you have to just still and watch whether if there is any part remaining where the color has not been like this gap so by rotating and putting the color on it bringing the amount of color on it you can get this kind of desired bottle okay and this is how it looks when we have colored it using yellow and red and in center I'll show you how this looks when it gets dried up, okay? Yeah, friends, our glass faces are completely dried up and this is how it looks. I have kept this glass bottles and jars for at least 48 hours to get dried up completely as these were solvent-based colors. So my request would be please do dry for at least two days, which would be best for this. We have done coloring from the inside. So this is a very plain finish and for this jar, we have colored it from outside. It's quite a rough finish but it has its own advantage that you can pour water or jelly balls and also decorate few flowers or else you can, al you can also pot a plant inside it. But for these both the jars, you cannot pour water inside it. But yes, it will be very easy to clean from outside. This is its advantage. And in all the three jars, we are going to do designing in the next video. So please do keep watching. And now I'm also going to show you one more trick, which you can do is you can use them as candle holders. If you remember, these are the candle holders which we have made in the previous video. I have given the link in the description box below. Please do watch them. Here you can see friends, I have placed a few candles inside these jars and my candle holders and this is how you can see how beautiful it looks as a candle holder and in the same way it also looks very beautiful when you will do design on it. You can also place a few flowers inside it and use it as a vase. Please do tell me in the comments below how did you find this video and if you did like this video friends, please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.